you know, if killing a thousand Lebanese people in a week, including 50 children, is nothing to celebrate, is not well, okay. There's a difference between and celebrating we must ask it. ask ourselves, why is Israel, to your point, dropping 80 tons of explosives to destroy civilian neighborhoods? Is that stuff We know why they're dropping. They're is dropping it a war weapons. crime or is they're it a dropping, violation no, of international law? No, it's not a war crime. Law? They so are the dropping rockets is, to destroy so munitions is, hidden by terrorist Hamas groups in civilian residential homes. So isn't Israel also a terrorist group if their own no. minister, if no. their own minister that is isn't, convicted that isn't what and makes charged you a terrorist with terrorism? Group. No, Excuse it's me? called self-defense. The, it's called self-defense. You're saying Israel the has war, a right to defend the, itself on yes. another nation's sovereign territory? That's self-defense? Yes. Perhaps you should yes, read absolutely. humanitarian law. Julia, with yes. all due respect. Yes. No, that you mean literally, I don't think you law, understand international, international law. International law or, makes it very clear that one that one war crime does not justify another. No. International law also makes it very clear that Israel does not have a right to self-defense yep. on land that it occupies <laughs> illegally in contravention to not just yeah, international I don't, law. I don't take much but, notice but of what the UN thinks respect, about anything, to be honest 42 with you. Year, it's been 42 years since the United Nations, which, by the way, Israel has demonized and dis disregarded and discredited. It's been 42 years since the General Assembly has voted mm. that Israel's occupation, that yeah. Israel is illegal. Yes, I know, I know. The, U okay, the UN so has been totally, again, I don't have much time for the UN. We've got, we've got, we've got we've, 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 I've, I mean, and I'm okay, not going to go into the history of the UN. I don't have any time for a body time. that thinks that China and Russia should have any say over or Iran over anything that happens in the Western world. I'm sorry, no, I don't. Here's okay, the thing. fair no, enough. No, let's I, go, no, no, about, no, no. But Ahmed, the, I'm trying then. to get back to the point of the question we're actually we're talking about. Go ahead. What go ahead. do you think... I'm glad, let's go back to the, I think the second question. Sure, what sure. would be an acceptable reaction from Israel to having rockets fired into their territory for a year and 60,000 of their people displaced? What do you think would not be a war crime Okay, let would me be ask acceptable? you a question. You're no, saying answer that my question. I'll answer your question. It's a really question. easy question. Yeah, it's a really easy question. 60,000 people displaced is very concerning in Israel. What about 1 million Again, people displaced? What about? Yeah, yeah, I don't know that. So what would be an appropriate response from Israel? What would you uh, find acceptable? You've told me I all the things that they've done and that you could, you could do that would I be would war crimes. What would be acceptable to you? I would find it acceptable if Israel stopped violating international law, stopped okay. mass murdering children, mm. and if the US and the murder. UK, who say they want a ceasefire, but their words ring hollow as they continue to arm and defend Israel's campaign of terror, okay. uh, their campaign of right. invasion and genocide. No, let me finish okay. the point. If the US or the UK or any of the world powers were serious about so-called peace, uh, you know, then they would have withdrawn support or stopped vetoing UN ceasefire resolutions, which would have stopped, as you said, the killing. Okay. They would freeze weapon shipments, as your government has tried to do with just... Well, I mean, except our weapon shipments are neither here nor there. It's more of a diplomatic uh, uh, damage they've done to, to Israel on that front. But can I just summarise what I think you've said? What I think you've said is... You I mean, would if you want to put would, words in my house... You would, my you would mouth, find it acceptable for Israel, the only reaction you would find acceptable them for being, well, not only not only the massacre we saw on October the 7th last year, but the, the bombing since October the 8th from Hezbollah in northern Israel, the only acceptable response would be, I mean, presumably withdrawing from these settlements, and I would agree with that, I don't think, I've always never thought that was acceptable, to, to yeah. not, no, 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 I'm just clarifying, to, to stop firing, to bring all forces back into Israel, no retaliation, no rockets, no missiles, and just sit tight, and that would be acceptable to you. That would be, you'd, you'd allow Israel to carry on as long as they didn't use any of their own weaponry but continued to be attacked. That would be acceptable to you. Uh, I can't answer questions where the framing is not based in framing. fact and reality. No, but I think that is what you were saying. Propaganda. They're not allowed to respond. So if they don't respond... No, I'm saying it's not in Israel's interest to do what they're doing, which is, is violating international law and mass murdering civilians. Isn't it in their interest to take out the terrorist countries. groups that are attacking as you, as you may have heard from many of the foreign ministers in the Arab world, they're willing and ready to have peace. This That's idea nice that Israel... This idea that Israel is under an existential threat, this idea that terrorists are trying to, uh, uh, you know, attack I Israel. Mean, I mean, crazy. Why would Israel think that? I mean, it's just crazy to think that.